how's it going? In this video, we're going to talk about the Sonoff Micro. It's a neat little idea. It's a smart switch, but it's all USB based. That's new. Let's check it out. So here it is, Sonoff Micro. Works with She Who Shall Not Be Named and Google Home through the EWE Link app, of course. It says here output 5 volts, 2.5 amps, input 5 volts. Pretty simple. Out of the box, it looks like this. You plug it into a USB A port, and then you can plug in some other USB device to the other side of it. It's got a button here and a couple little LEDs, and that's it. It looks like a phone charger. That's what it looks like. I'm pretty sure we're not going to be able to put Tasmoda on this. So at least for startsies, we'll set it up with EWE Link. Here's the EWE Link app. Now we plug this in. Okay, lights flashing. Let's go to plus. Here in the destructions, it says scanning the code is the best way to add it. There's no code on the device. So I don't know what code I'm supposed to scan. QR code, then scan the QR code on the card in the package. Maybe I lost it. I think I found it. I did find a QR code here on a card. Maybe this is for this device. Maybe it's for one of the other devices I have here. We'll find out soon. Okay. Unplug it. Plug it in. Quick pairing mode. Scan QR code. The only QR code I have. This never works. Ha! <laughs> It worked that time. <laughs> Jeez. Did I have that recording? Oh, good. Wow. So the key to pairing it is have your little QR code handy and do it quickly. As soon as you plug that thing in, scan that QR code, and that's your best bet. All right, there's the micro. And here I can turn it on, turn it off. There's really nothing else to it. On, off. Guess I can schedule it. I can add a timer and say, well, you can do a month, date, hour, minute, repeat. And then what do you want it to do at that time? Do you want it to turn on? Do you want it to turn off? I don't usually use this. And then you can add a timer that'll say, oh, turn it off in an hour or two hours. Oh, no, those are days. <laughs> Turn it off in so many days, hours, minutes. Okay. And share it with other people who have the EWE link account history. That's it. This does not have the DIY mode, so you can't uh, put it into a mode where it would be local only or where it would be flashable with Tasmoda or something. So what are we going to use this for? Guessing things like battery charger here. So for something like this battery charger, we can plug it in here and it's off until we turn it on. And then the battery charger starts charging. If you had a USB strip of LEDs, that would work. I like the idea of having a USB smart switch like this. I haven't seen any others like this probably got a little bit of a limited use case. We end up with a lot of devices that are powered by USB. They run on 5 volts. The easy thing to do is just plug them into a phone charger, and that's how we get them to work. With something like this, you can control those things through the EWE Link app. Another limitation is that it doesn't transfer data, only power. So if you put this in between like your keyboard or your mouse and your computer, it wouldn't work. I can appreciate what they're trying to do, and they probably had a lot of thought into why they did it the way they did, but my first thought was, why not make it so you can plug it into the wall, like a phone charger, 
I guess a good use for this would be something like powering a Raspberry Pi. You'd still need the power supply, but then you'd plug this into the power supply and have the ability to turn it on and off remotely. That could be useful. Now I know what you're thinking. Are you going to tear it apart and try and flash Tasmoda on it? Let me do some research and see if it's even possible. I'm back from my research. <laughs> Turns out this does not use the ESP8266 chip, at least best I can tell. It uses the CKW04 chip, which means absolutely nothing to me, except that it can't use Tasmoda. But if you still want to use the micro with Home Assistant, there may be a way. This good fella, Peter Buga, made a custom component for the EWE Link software to be used with Home Assistant. Unfortunately, it's not in the community store. So you can't go here to integrations and search for EWE Link and find it. It's not there. Sewn off, not there. So that means we have to do it manually, which isn't the end of the world. We're going to need a section in our configuration.yaml file. The only things we really need are username and password. The rest of this is optional. Then we need to copy the PY files and put them in our custom components folder in a folder called Sonoff. I still use my email to sign in to EWE Link, so hopefully this will still work. Email or phone number. Okay, that should work. All right, so let's grab the stuff we need. Let's find the PY files. Right there. There they are. So we're going to download this whole thing. Put it somewhere easy to find. Open it up. We just need this whole folder right here. So let's extract this whole folder. And for now, we'll just plop it on the desktop. <coughs> okay, there it is, sewn off on my desktop. Now we're going to go here and open up my Home Assistant config file tree. We're going to go to custom components, and then we're just going to drop this sewn off folder in there. All right, there it is. Those are the three files we need. File tree looks just like it should. Custom components, sewn off, and those three files. Beauty. Now let's go into our configuration.yaml and make sure we've got what we need for the component there. We will use the configurator inator. So there it is. Just like this. I just made an entry just like that right here. And then I'm using secrets so you don't see my user and password. I know. What fun is that? With my new configuration saved, we're going to check the config, make sure we're not going to break anything. All right, it's valid. So now we restart. And it looks like it's back up. So now we're going to go to the developer tools and states and we're going to look for things named Sonoff. See if we can find our new Sonoff micro. Maybe we should look for micro. Nothing called micro. Nope. Nothing. Okay. Is there anything in the integrations? Alright, well that's a bummer. The Sonoff custom component, it's not working for me. Got this error, not sure what to do with it. I'm sure somebody smarter than me can figure it out. But what that means for now, for me, is no Sonoff micro in Home Assistant. That's too bad. Well that's it, the Sonoff micro. It's new, it's different, it's not too expensive, about six bucks I think. So if you've got a situation where you want to control some kind of USB powered device and you don't mind using just the EWE Link app, there you go. That's all for now. As always, thanks for watching. Till next time, adios. If you need help or want to chat with me or others who also enjoy projects like this, you can find us on Facebook and Discord. If you like what I'm doing and you want to support me, 
you can use my special product links in the video description, or head over to Patreon, or just like and share my videos. That's easy. If you like this video and you want to see more like it, this box will take you to a playlist of some of my favorites. In addition to videos like this, I also do live streams every Sunday. This box will take you to a recording of the latest live stream. That's all for now. Adios.